Hi, I'm Alan. This is Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. Today I have an old pistol here. This is called a Beretta Cheetah. Uh, that's what it's best known for. Its actual model number is an 84. They made two models, the 84 and the 85. One was a double stack, one was a single stack. The newer ones had decockers, the older ones didn't. This is an older one. It does not have a decocker, but it does have a double stack magazine and holds 13 rounds of 380 or 9mm Kurtz, which means 9mm short. What makes this gun so special? Well, I didn't say it was. I know, I always say it is, but I didn't say this one was. But what makes it so special is the fact that this is all in original factory nickel, which makes it kind of rare. Um, it's nice and crisp and clean. There are a few blemishes so it's not perfect but it's pretty damn nice it's got hard rubber grips with the original beretta insignia on it so these are the way it came okay so let us first make sure this gun is safe to handle remove the magazine take the safety off look down the chamber everything is clear now I could put the magazine back, but let me show you something. Magazine safety. You can pull the trigger without a magazine in it and it will not drop the hammer. As soon as I put the magazine in, click. <laughs> um, if you were to carry this with one in the pipe, you have to one, keep the safety on, of course. Because there is no decocker, in order to decock it, you'd literally have to put your finger in front of the hammer and let it go, let it down. Um, best way to do that, you have to take the safety off in order to do it because you can't pull the trigger with the safety on, is just the way I showed you. Then you throw the safety on. First round, it is in a decocked or half cocked position. You could take the safety off. First round would be fire double action. You can also leave it in that double cock position with no safety on it, but of course, trigger pull is heavy enough where it would be safe. But I don't know how good a hammer block there is in there. Now this is, does have ambidextrous safeties. It's on each side and there's not much more else to say about it. So let's go to the workbench, take this puppy apart, clean it, lube it, and reassemble it. Okay, here we are at the workbench with the Beretta 84BB. Now that's the model number, 84BB. It's in nine millimeters short. It says nine millimeters short on on right on the on the firearm. Nine millimeters short is the nine millimeter Kurtz, which means short, and it's also um, called a 380 in this country. This is a pretty nice gun. It's got significant wear because this has been a carry gun, but still, all in all, it's in pretty nice shape. Now. Remove the magazine. It says 13. It is a double stack magazine. Let's take a look at the sights. Okay, so here we go. That's the sight picture. And you can see it is a pretty small sight picture. But it's a gun that is used for self-defense. So you have a single red dot on the back and a single red dot on the front you line one on top of the other and that's where you put it on your target let me go over the functionality buttons on here here is your ambidextrous safety there's one on each side your hammer pulls back that's in its half cock position and there's the full cock it will not fire unless magazine is in and it is double action okay I believe the magazine release is um, you can change it out and it is ambidextrous but I think it's a, a, a job to do it here is your slide release so with the magazine in it's always easy to do with the magazine in Here's your slide release, so you push that down, that will release your slide. 
to put it in half cock, you put your finger in front of the hammer, pull the hammer, and then you can take your finger off the trigger and you'll be in half cock. To fire your first round, you pull the trigger and it'll fire it, or you put your safety on while it's in half cock and make it so it cannot fire. Okay, to take down this firearm, we're going to push this button in, we're going to push this piece all the way down and forward. And once you do that, it will release your slide. Then we can just lift out our spring and our barrel. And there we go. It's as simple as that to break this firearm down. So let's give it a, a good cleaning and uh, We'll move on. So I'm going to take a cloth. First I'm going to spray the inside with a little strike hold. I'm going to take the cloth, spray it with strike hold. Now I use strike hold. Strike hold is a CLP. It cleans, protects, and lubricants all in one. So for, for instance, when I'm done cleaning this gun, I could just put it back together again and I'm done. But for all of you guys out there that do not use CLP as you're using old-fashioned cleaners, I will lubricate this gun when I'm done cleaning it. So first I'm just going to rub this cloth back and forth in the slot. And I use these sticks because it, it gets into areas that I just really couldn't do with just my finger. And you can see it, it that just that one side, it took a, off a, a good amount of dirt. I just keep moving it to a clean spot, and there we go. I'll do it again, and I keep doing this until the cloth came out clean. Then I'm going to get into here all these little cracks and, and slots that I couldn't get to with my finger. I'm going to use this now. When I get to a spot that's even really difficult, I need a new cloth. I have even a smaller stick. That I can wrap this on and this will get me into those really really tight areas okay and I'm gonna get everything nice and clean inside the spring well okay now very important to do is get the battery of the firearm if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say the battery that's this part that is used that, that comes in contact with the base of the shell. Okay, so I'm going to clean that and I'm going to make sure I get underneath I'm going to make sure I get underneath the extractor because that is a place that fouls can happen. When you have too much dirt underneath there, it can ride up over the shell and in a situation where you're just like at the range you can have a, a, a stack stack shells meaning a jam uh, doesn't extract the shell and the next one goes up and gets stuck behind it that's the best case scenario worst case is that you need to use the gun to defend yourself you get a shot off you miss but now you can't get another shot off now worst worst case scenario is you think the gun's empty, you pull the, and somebody pulls a slide back, doesn't bother looking to see if there's anything in the chamber, doesn't see there's something in the chamber, leaves a live round in there, they pull the, the trigger and it goes bang. Now that's the worst, worst case scenario. I wouldn't want to be the person in front of that gun, and I have been on a couple of occasions. And I'm just going to go right back here. There we go, all nice and shiny and clean. Now we get this and we go back into these slots, both sides. Okay, so that's where you get the most metal on metal contact is between the slot, slide slots and the, and the frame rails. Now I'm just gonna wipe it all down with this Make sure it's all nice and clean and lubricated. This gun happens to be in pretty good shape. Old man took care of this gun. 
Okay, spray it up real good. Now I'm gonna go in and out on the bottom of this. Now I could probably get in there with my finger because it's a double stack, but if you have the 85 instead of the 84 or a single stack unit, you can just follow that, use this, uh, and you can get that, okay? There we go. Okay. There we go. Now the barrel. We wipe down the barrel, but what's important is we get the little slots and rails that are on the sides of the barrel because that's where there's metal to metal contact at the top. Make sure we get the ramp and the chamber. Do a good job in making sure my chamber's clean so I don't have to worry about a chamber jam. And we'll just go up and down the barrel a few times, but the barrel is clean. Okay. Get the pin and the spring. And of course, we'll get the magazine. Now, this is the thing I do in all my videos, and I think I'm the only one that shows people to do this, and I don't know why, because it's important. Underneath the follower, push down the follower and up underneath the fingers, and you're just going to get them underneath here and here, nice and clean. Okay, so now, something that you've got to know. I'm about to now oil this gun. If you are using traditional gun cleaner, you need to oil the firearm. Because if you don't oil the firearm, if you're using a traditional cleaner, one, you're going to have problems. But when I say oil it, I'm not talking about just putting oil where you need to lubricate it. I'm talking about you have to touch every part of the gun that you hit with cleaner with oil. Because if you don't, the cleaner, even if you wipe it off, continues, it's not deactivated, it continues to eat away at the finish. Remember, that's what cleaner does. It eats away at the dirt. And it can't tell the difference between the finish of your gun and the dirt from the round. So, if you don't want your gun to look like crap after a year or so, you're going to put oil on the whole thing, or you switch to a strike hole. By the way, I have two videos on this stuff, so go and watch the videos. And if you can't find it in your local area, you can order it from my website. Okay, I'm going to put three drops of oil on here. And the first thing I'm going to do when I have the, the most amount of oil on the stick, and I'm not putting oil directly in the gun, is I am going to oil the areas that need real lubrication. That means metal to metal is running back and forth on it. So I'm just going to put oil in here and here. I'm going to put it down the tops. Okay, on the tops, and then on the sides. Now, while it's out, it's a good time to check and make sure that your ejector is in good shape. And this one is. It should be clean and straight and no bends and no cracks. Shouldn't be any rough edges. So now I'm just going to wipe down every place that I touched it with cleaner. I'm going to hit it with oil. Now remember, we, we took dry cold on that cleaner on the stick and went up and down in here, but to save time, I'm just going to use my finger because one, I don't really have cleaner in there, and two, it's a double stack magazine. It's big enough for my finger to fit in. That's looking good. So we put that aside and we get a new cloth because we're going to get the other side that needs to have lubrication, so we want a, a fresh cloth, fresh oil on it, and we're going to go in, up and down in these slots that are in the slide. 
two or three times back and forth. One, two, three. Okay, once I do that, I just touch every place that I hit with cleaner. I take the little stick and get into here, get the back. Get in here. Okay. And let's not forget that part that I said was so important when we were cleaning it, the battery. Okay. Barrel. One, two, three. Well, that's spreading out on the cloth. Now I'm going to hit the areas that, that ride against metal. Make sure you get inside the barrel. Now there's no, the oil in the barrel doesn't make the bullet go through quicker, but will save your the inside of your barrel from the elements and it will deactivate it, the cleaner that you put in there. Okay. Oops. The pin and the spring. Okay, so now it's time to put this little guy back together again. So we're going to take the barrel, we're going to drop it in, and we're going to slide it back until it's resting right here. That's good. Now the spring can go on in either direction. So we put the pin in, put it into the front of the firearm just like that. We're going to push the pin forward and we're going to lock it right on this part of the firearm, right there. See that? Now, my hands are slippery, so hopefully this isn't going to give me, make me look silly. Yep, it's going to make me look silly. Okay, so this isn't set in here right. There we go. Okay, so what I did was I put the magazine in so I could release the trigger. So now I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to push that pin up, and this should move into position. There we go. And there we have it. The, the Beretta Cheetah 84 BB. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for joining me on the Cheetah 84. Hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.